They are based from an oatmeal, from an oatmeal base, basically. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> Hi, welcome again to Feeling Fabulous, and today we are making seductively spiced pumpkin muffins. You can make them into oatmeal, but today we are actually making them into muffins. They do tend to stick together. The base would be the date syrup that helps along with the pumpkin puree to make it stick together. But when you're cooking it in a muffin tin, they do stick together and they make fantastic pumpkin muffins, which you can feed your kids and your family. The ingredients include regular pumpkin, I do organic pumpkin puree, organic oats, raisins, you can do cranberries, flax seeds, chia seeds, fantastic and omegas, small amount of cinnamon, and orange zest along with almond milk. You can do soy milk, you can do coconut milk, but I prefer the almond milk because it doesn't have as much flavor. Soy milk has a nutty flavor and the coconut milk sometimes has more of a coconut flavor, so I do I prefer the almond milk. I'm also adding date syrup instead of maple syrup, 100%, but you can do either. So 100% maple syrup or you can do the date paste. Instead of the cinnamon, you can use pumpkin spice. So pumpkin spice is easily made Made with ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. So you don't necessarily have to buy the pumpkin spice, but you can make it. I tend to throw in flax seeds and chia seeds because they're fantastic in omegas and other vitamins and fiber, along with the oats, tons of fiber, and the pumpkin. Everything is fiber. The most calories do come from the dried fruits. Anything that's dehydrated will have more sugar. You can be more judicious in actually using them. You can, you know, just cut them in little pieces and then you don't have to use as much, but the flavor is still there. The almond milk I use is the least amount of sugar. It's 30 calories. Orange zest has nothing in it. So the caloric intake is not very high if you're looking to count on the calories. So I'm going to heat up the oven to 375 degrees. We are going to add these ingredients to a bowl, mix them up, and put them together in a muffin tin, bake them, and you'll have the most seductively spiced pumpkin muffins, and it doesn't take very much. So I'm making four servings. I am using two cups of rolled oats, the pumpkin spice, the plant milk, not in any specific order. And the chia seeds, the oats. I'm going to chop up the raisins. All I'm doing is looking to cut those raisins in half. You can also do them with black cherries. It also tastes very good. So if you're looking for substitutions and you don't like raisins or cranberries, you can do black cranberries. And I'm going to add the orange zest. So just use the leftover of an of a orange and that's where you can get the zest from. You can use essential oils if they're edible, but the orange works just as well. About two tablespoons full of orange zest. And then one cup of the pumpkin puree. And the last but not least, the date syrup so that I can sweeten it. Approximately four tablespoons. Nice and colorful. It's really good. Chia seeds and flax seeds have the high highest amount of, tea, of omegas that are more than salmon. So if you don't like fish, it's a lot less expensive to buy chia seeds and flax seeds. So mix it together. You want to use a nice big bowl for freezing them so you know I don't um, I don't eat this every single day and I don't want them going bad. You can you can dry freeze them or you can just put them in regular freezer safe bags. I'd say it's great to freeze for about two weeks safely without it going bad. And this is another way of actually sneaking in some things that are really good for your kids who don't like eating healthier options. So if you're looking to try to sneak more fiber in or more nutrients in, this is a great way of doing it. You can make them into a muffin instead of the oatmeal. They don't know the difference, but it's exactly the same ingredients as in the oatmeal. So now I'm going to place them in a muffin tin. You don't have to use butter or anything. I don't use anything to grease the pan because the pan is non-stick. Once they're cooked, I just let them cool for about 15-20 minutes and then I just remove them from the cup itself from each of those tins. So I don't use any oil, I don't use any butter, and I don't use any uh, parchment paper for the muffins. I can actually remove them in piece and they don't need to actually have anything that's non-stick to them. It's very good. It's not very sweet. You can just taste the sweetness of the, the date paste and the raisins. Everything else just tastes natural. You taste pumpkin and the oats and actually everything that you put in here you taste. Nothing overpowers anything else. And you can have it for breakfast or dessert. It's very good.